Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's only video. We're going to have a look at the 12Z bottle run for today's only video. This is your 12Z roundup on this Tuesday evening. Very late recording this. I haven't got time to do a full 10 to 40 there. We will have a 10 to 14 there for you though tomorrow. Please like, share and subscribe. All that good stuff. And uh, thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that for Gabs and Weather Thank you so much everyone. Uh, right, okay. So, let's crack through these as quickly as we can then. Do how late we are. Well, I am... <laughs> So, we're going to start off with uh, UK Met Euro run for midday on Friday. So, uh, we've got low pressure sitting to ourselves, high pressure blocking things out. You're still bringing up these uh, very mild uh, southerly southwesterlies, but with outbreaks of rain. As we go into the weekend, that low pressure sort of drifts away, and then the high pressure out to the west starts to bring down that colder normally flow. So, into the weekend and through next week, things start to turn uh, colder. Looks like we're about, or cooler anyway, for the only part of next week. Looks as though we're about to drop in like a proper cold northerly though behind that area of low pressure. As that plunge is southwards, I reckon we'll turn wind into proper Arctic northerly there. Quite interesting. Well, I can again showing low pressure southwest on Friday. High pressure blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland bring in a mild uh, easterly wind. Then we go through into the weekend, the only part of next week. And, uh, yeah, also looks like Icon is turning things colder through next week. High pressure pushing up towards Greenland. Trough of low coming down for South. It's not an immediate process. It gradually cools down through the weekend. Turns a bit cooler early next week. And then after that, we go potentially to a proper northerly later uh, next week. That looks like it's setting up an Arctic plunge. Let's have a look at the KMA, see what that one's doing. Again, that low pressure drifts away the south over the weekend. Then we bring the wind in to a cooler, not especially cold, but cooler northeasterly. Uh, but then it's really later next week, but we get like a proper northerly plunge. And again, Icon is turning cold there uh, through next weekend and up to day 10 and beyond it with a proper cold east northeasterly uh, winds. Going to great week. That will bring in snow showers, I would have thought, to northern and eastern parts of the country. Wow, 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 wow. Let's have a look. Up the GFS, see what that one's doing. Again, low pressure is moving away to the south, taking its rain with it uh, as we go through the weekend. Cooler north northeasterly winds setting it over the weekend to start of next week. But it's really later next week. Are we going to bring in that cold northerly? Yes, we turn winds around to proper northerly there by around the middle of next week. Looks like it's pretty brief. Maybe not. So, yeah, we got wind backing around into west southwest though with a GFS 12Z by the weekend, the 22nd, 23rd of November. So, becoming milder and wetter and windier there. Only a brief cooler interlude, colder interlude with the GFS. But we're back into those mild west southwesterlies again. Hmm, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Well, if you're enjoying this uh, 12Z roundup, then please do like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for looking forward to doing that. Drop a comment, let us know. Don't forget about this all my videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies and Gap to subscribe too. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Right, GM again with low pressure just to the south, pushing up to, um, to the south, I should say. Let's do that again. Uh, GM with low pressure just to the south, moving away. Day the weekend, high pressure pushing up to Greenland, introducing those cooler to colder uh, northerly winds. Proper Greenland block setting up there at about 1,060 millibars through the early part of uh, next week. Then the low pressure drifts away and we pull down those proper cold north northeasterlies. No quick return to the uh, southwesterlies there. With the GM, that's how the upper air temperatures look. We're not talking about a really cold condition, because it's only November. But I've got minus five Celsius per more or less down into the south. And then the ECM, well, I'm going to come back to the ECM 12Z in a moment. But what I'm going to do first of all is have a look at the midnight run. So uh, this is the uh, midnight ECM run. Uh, again, showing high pressure blocking things out to the northwest over the weekend. Low pressure drift away south. Cooler north northeasterly winds setting in. And then this low plunging southwards through the country through the middle part of next week. That's the one that introduces both cold northerlies. However, similar to the, G the GFS 12Z, we've quick 
quickly uh, introducing milder southwesterlies again. So only a really brief cooler interlude, colder into the middle of next week. And then we're back into those mild southwesterlies again. So there's a bit of a twist going on here, isn't there? Are we going to set up like, like a prolonged cold northerly northeast? Yes, some of them are out, but it's hinting. But will it only be like one day wonder? And then we go back into those uh, milder winds again. Well, let's have a look at the opposite of the table. Within the uh, ECM on summer. So I'll just possibly go and get my highlights up actually. I'll do a false restart. The problem I've had today is my computer's been really, really slow. So eventually I did a false restart, shut everything down, and I've got the highlights up. So hold on a second, everyone. Okay, there we go. Highlighter is up and ready. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so these are the ensemble tables within the ECM ensembles. Or were the ensemble tables within the ECM ensembles for the midnight uh, suite, getting us to the 21st of November. 30 members of the ECM ensembles had high pressure blocking towards Greenland and Iceland, trough low pressure over UK and Ireland, and bring down that cold north to north east. We in back to the control and the operation where they got 21 with uh, low pressure to the east, high pressure out to the west, and up also up towards Greenland, and that brings in more of a westerly type flow potentially. So still quite chilly with that one as well, but like not as, not as um, cold as that option. So all options looking chilly to cold at day ten. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we had uh, getting us to the twenty sixth of November. Nineteen members of the ECM on solid zone with low pressure north, high pressure to the south, bring the wind in from a westerly direction. That's milder and unsettled. Six. Thing, keeping it cold, high pressure blocking towards Greenland, bring down that cold north northeasterly, and 14 with high pressure to the south, or low pressure to the north, and again, bring up that milder west south westerly back to the the operation road. So it looks like the East was a favouring, like a, quite a quick return actually to uh, milder conditions. There is a minority option, but we keep it cold. But most of those options uh, look to be uh, trying to turn things milder through over the last week of both. So we we may well get things colder around uh, days 8, 9, 10, but I think it'll probably be relatively br br brief based on that. We'll see, both. CFS B2, meets a 500 millibar, high time to bring down week periods. The first week period takes us from the 11th, 17th of November. So next week, with low pressure down to south southwest, high pressure blocking up towards Greenland, bring up that milder uh, southwesterly then. So still milder and set next few days. Now, week two, check this out. This is the 18th. 24th November. CFS not interested in telling things colder. Just has a ridge through the west of Europe bringing up that southwest. Well, that's a weekly anomaly. So there might be a couple of colder days within that, of course. But, like, the week overall, not looking cold. Week three will be the 25th of uh, November, 1st December. Again, high pressure to the south, low pressure away to the northwest. That brings up that southwesterly flow. And then, uh, finally, week four will be the 2nd to the 8th of December. And then into Scandinavian high boats. So that's quite interesting. Low pressure out to the west. Uh, that probably bring up like a mildly south southeasterly flow, but it wouldn't take that much to start bringing the wind around to an easterly. We really need to run this low, the energy here, uh, in that direction. If we do that and lower these heights around the central bar of the med, often the, uh, the curse for us <laughs> when it comes to getting those easterly spread. So we need to lower the heights around the bed, bring that trough southwards into Spain, Biscayne, and then ultimately to Mediterranean. If we do that, this high pressure over Scandinavia should bring in an easterly. So it's not that far away, but it needs a bit of an adjustment. Right, well, let's just go back to the ECM uh, 12Z, and then we'll uh, wrap it all up. Again, if you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and show you everyone doing that. Have a full, 12, uh, full uh, 10 to 14 day for you tomorrow. So uh, low pressure drifting away to the south, high pressure blocking towards Greenland and Iceland through the weekend, turning cooler over the weekend, colder into uh, next week as this low uh, plunges southwards and uh, that introduces like a proper Arctic northerly nice block over Greenland as well by the way, no pressure starts running into that, turning things milder wetter wind, it could be a little bit of snow with that in the north, but especially over high ground uh, but oh, look at this, big low though coming in, coming in and be extended 
quickly bring those milder southerly southwesterlies uh, back. So, yes, a hint of some colder weather through next week for a few days, but not looking sustained with the GFS and the ECM. Type. That doesn't mean they're right on that. It might turn out to be more prolonged cold spell. But at the moment, I would go for like a couple of days of colder weather, and then we're probably back into milder conditions. We shall see, though. Right, we're done. So, uh, we're going to have a full 10 to 14 day for you tomorrow. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you again with more very soon. For this one, Miss Charles Ed Brown, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.